hello folks welcome to my channel i hope you all are doing well today in this video we are going to see how to create or generate single line diagram in autocad using excel database so in this we require excel database ready or at least the excel information details readily available with us to feed in excel then we should have AutoCAD installed in our machine. So let's have a look at Excel sheet, what the details we are looking for. Let me open the Excel sheet. So if you open this Excel sheet, this is a standard template I have prepared for the database, where it has two tabs named project details and feeder list. So project details is a basic project information or details which we need to feed in AutoCAD template right next if you go to feeder list so feeder list has it each and individual feeder details or information which we need to feed in the feeder data like feeder number panel name feeder name breaker or feeder uh, type then feeder ratings then we have cable details, mounting arrangement, how many poles are there, or what kind of protection it has, and so and so forth. So once you feed these details in this Excel database, you need to save this at appropriate location, which we need to navigate when we initiate this command in AutoCAD. Okay, let's go to AutoCAD. Once you open the AutoCAD, here you can see this model space has nothing over on it. Similarly, on the layout space, there is also nothing on the model space. So we will initiate the command called SLD. Once you initiate the command, it will ask you to navigate for that Excel database file. Okay, I'll navigate the file like data file SLD. And once you click on the file, the AutoCAD start its working and populating the drawings. So as soon as it populates the new drawing, the index sheet at sheet number one will be updated as, as soon as the new drawings or new page is generated. At the same time, sheets which are generated in model space are mapped with the layout space. Once you complete the drawing, it will give you a message that all single line diagrams is generated and it will conclude the command. You can just check out whether the all these signal line diagrams are mapped or not. So you'll know you'll not find any issue in the mapping, right? If you see the index sheet has a sheet number one, okay, and it continues till 18, and each sheet has the panel name mentioned. So if you see the sheet number 11 and 12, which has a two same number on uh, same name on a two sheets. So let's have a look what happens there. So if you go to sheet number 11, you can see capper panel 1 is there and this panel is continued on sheet number 12 over here. So that means this project, the particular panel is not accommodated on a single sheet. So it transferred other next the uh, feeders on a next sheet and also mentioned the continuity. So continued from sheet number 11, capper panel 1. And the project details are also mentioned in the template. So this is a way you can improve your efficiency and productivity using this command. This will definitely reduce your week's efforts in a couple of hours. Also, please post your messages in the chat box if you want customized commands for your reference. Thank you. Also, please subscribe my channel. And don't forget to hit the like button if you really find this video valuable and you have learned something new out of it. Thank you. Have a good time.